for the fifth time since 2021, the Bills and Chiefs will go at it in the AFC. And for the fifth time since 2021, the Bills will be at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. It has played out that way in the regular season and postseason. Buffalo was here week six of last year. Both teams four and one. Buffalo actually favored in that game and won 24 to 20. What's good, streaming people? Welcome to CBS Sports HQ as we get you ready for Bills and Chiefs and we're presented by Enterprise. Down to my far right is Pete Prisco, two-time Super Bowl champ Brian McFadden, Danny Cannell, and I think fans that are ready for Bills and Chiefs here happening in about an hour's time, and we're going to break it all down here on CBS Sports HQ. Smelling kind of funky here, too, a little yeah. bit, too, huh? Just I before we go. Tailgates are here. close Woo. to us, and the wind is certainly <laughs> blowing. Uh, we've got a couple of injury updates for this key game to talk about. And, guys, I'll start with Isaiah Pacheco dealing with the shoulder issue. The Chiefs had ruled him out. Pete Prisco, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, and some others in the backfield. What do you think about that particular angle right now? Well, I mean, you have to run the football. This is a team that hasn't looked the same all year on offense. They haven't got the explosive plays. And one of the reasons is they haven't been great running the football. Without Pacheco, it's a different offense. So, yeah, I think one of the things you have to do today is establish the run and try and keep Buffalo off the field. Yeah, I think this is a huge loss for the Kansas City Chiefs. You talked about the inability to run the football. When they've had success, it's been been because of Isaiah Pacheco. And the thing that I like about his game, the energy and the juice that he provides. He's a hard runner. He's a physical guy, yet he's still he's undersized. He still run with bad intentions. And not having him in the ball game, hopefully they can find that energy that they will lack with him not being there. Yeah, with both tackles struggling on the outside and pass protection, I think it's key to let them build some confidence by coming off the ball, getting off, you know, kind of setting the tone for the game. Because when you're pass, you know, pass blocking an entire game and you're struggling, it kind of becomes this uphill battle. So let them insert, uh, exert some of their physicality, get out there, push some people around. But I think this is a big opportunity for Clyde Edwards-Alaire uh, this afternoon. 